Welcome to another video. I have a simple algebra problem on the board and the goal is to find the values of x that satisfy the inequality. Ordinarily, this would be a very straightforward inequality to solve because all you have to do is because the bases on either side are the same, you just have to take the arguments of each inequality, set them against each other using the greater than sign, and whatever you get is your answer. Unfortunately, well, you also have to recognize the domain of each of them. Unfortunately, the individual bases are not integers. In fact, they are less than one. And whenever the base of a logarithm is less than one, the typical rule you would follow would slightly need modification or would need slight modification and that's what we need so there are two things we're going to do in this video firstly you have to look at the domain of either function and see where the function actually exists because your answer or the set of um, values of x that would satisfy the inequality must be in the domain of each of them and secondly you have to be able to set the inequality correctly so let's make this complicated talk simpler. Let's get into the video. The very first thing you must do is to find the domain of each of these functions because that's where they exist. So firstly, I'm going to say if I have the logarithm of 2 minus 3x to base 1 half, at least whatever is in the argument must be greater than zero. That's something we all agree on. So we're going to say that 2 minus 3x must be greater than zero. That's the only way a logarithmic function can be defined. And in this case, we have 2. Let's move 2 to the other side. We have um, negative 3x must be greater than negative 2. If we divide both sides by negative 3, we have x is greater than negative Oh, it's going to be positive. Oh, and we have to change this sign. So x has to be less than two thirds. Okay, so this is the first solution that we have using this part. Okay, so this is important. We, we need this. The second part is to find the domain of this also. We also know that 3 plus 2x must be greater than 0. Okay, and if we move 3 over, we have 2x is greater than negative 3, and we have x is greater than negative 3 halves. Okay, x is greater than negative 3 halves is another um, domain that we get. So, for this to even happen, we must be within this. Now, look at what we have. Let's recognize this on the number line. So, I'm going to draw the number line where should we do it? Let's do it here. So I have x is less than 2 thirds. So let me put 2 thirds here. 2 over 3. And it's going to be a whole because it's strictly less than. So I need all values of x that go this way. And x is greater than negative 3 halves. So let's put negative 3 halves here. It's also a whole. And it's negative 3 over 2 x is greater. So everything between here and here, if you plug it into this inequality, you'll be fine. There'll be no problem, okay? The functions will both exist. Now, there's a second part to the problem. It is to find the actual values that make this inequality true. Remember, what we just did are the values of x that make each function exist, which is the domain. So the domain of each of them is combined to be this. The second thing is what makes this true, and that's where it gets tricky. Okay, this is the strategy I would like you to adopt. I want you to look at the left-hand side here and call it A. So let's do it this way. Let the logarithm of 2 minus 3x base 1 half, let it be equal to a. And let the other one, and let the logarithm base 1 half 
of 3 plus 2x, let it be equal to b. From what we know, a is greater than b. This is key to solving this. If a is greater than b, what do you think is the relationship between this and this? Remember, the definition of any logarithmic function is that the number you have here is the power, this a is the power to which you must raise one half to get this. So remember, recall that 2 minus 3x equals one half raised to power a. You have to remember this, okay? Now, the same thing we know also, let's go this way so we can divide the board. So we also know that 3 plus 2x will be equal to 1 half raised to power b. So which of these is bigger? Well, if you're confused, whenever you raise a fraction, a proper fraction to a bigger power, the bigger the power, the smaller the number. Watch this. 1 half raised to power 5. Let's compare it to 1 half raised to power 2. Well, this number is 1 over 32. This number is 1 over 4. Which of these is bigger? Well, this is bigger than this because the power is smaller. So what we're saying is whenever, in, in this case rather, you have this is smaller than this, then this must be bigger than this. You see that? So this is... 1 over 32 is less. So this is less than this. So you would be making a huge mistake if because they have the same base, you went ahead and said 2 minus 3x has to be greater than 3 plus 2x. You can't do that. You have to do the opposite because these are fractions. That was That's the whole idea of this video. Okay, let's finish this. So, so what we have is um, we can now say that 2 minus 3x is less than 3 plus 2x, okay? So let's write it out. Since a is greater than b, we have 1 half raised to power a is less than 1 half raised to power b. Therefore, this 2 minus 3x must be less than 3 plus 2x. And all we have to do is solve this, and once you solve this, you get your answer. Let's bring the x to this side, okay? Let's bring this 2x here. So we're gonna end up with minus 5x is less than, move this there, you're gonna have one. Three minus two is one. And then that tells you that x, if we divide both sides by negative five, the sign changes, x is greater than negative one over five. And that's it. So any number that is greater than negative 1 over 5 will satisfy this inequality. But remember, you have to restrict it to the domain of it. So if we move this x to the negative 5, we go find a position for it here. It's uh, definitely somewhere here. So it's going to be negative 1 over 5. It's another whole. So because we're looking for something greater, our answer is between negative one over five and two thirds. So the solution, so the solution is the intersection or the domain or the set, whatever, okay? The solution set is the intersection of the domain and the solution set. So this is our solution set. This is the domain that we got before. The part that is common to both of them is our solution, and it is from here to here. So we say, therefore, we have negative one over five is less than x, and x is less than two thirds. That is the answer that we're looking for. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.